And well, obviously, these are some challenging times economically. Uh, and even if you haven't been one of the unfortunate ones to lose your job, chances are you're losing money. So how do you recover? Protect yourself if you have a 401k or you're a business owner. Financial expert Marshall Clay from the Wealth Group joins us now by FaceTime to hopefully help out with that. Good to see you this morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. All right. So first of all, let's talk about the investor. I didn't mention that in the intro, but obviously there are folks out there who uh, put a lot of money in the market, and whether it's just for the retirement accounts. What should they know this morning? Well, I'd say we, we've been very fortunate over the last couple of weeks to see a nice rebound off, off the bottoms that we saw at the end of March. Um, but the uncertainty is still remaining. And so I'd caution people who are looking to allocate money in the markets. They really need to do their homework. They really need to look at um, you know, where they're allocating their money, um, you know, look at the ETFs, look at the mutual funds, sort of, you know, open up the hood and make sure they know how their money's being allocated. And I know that'll be foreign language to a lot of people, but for those investors, they know what you mean. And certainly after they saw what happened in the oil markets, it can impact you di directly, even though it's not, uh, you know, it's part of your investments. So what about business owners? If I own a business right now, what are some ways I need to, you know, get, get on uh, more solid ground right now? Yeah, so the first thing they need to do is intimately familiarize themselves with the uh, with the guidelines for reopening America that the, that the White House and the president has published. I know that, that Kay Ivey is having a press conference today, so she'll give some further guidance for the citizens of Alabama. But I really encourage business owners to get really creative with how they're thinking about, um, you know, going forth and executing this reopening. Um, you know, people are really uh, motivated and yearning to get out and, and get back to some semblance of normalcy. Um, but, but business owners need to, to think creatively in order to, to re-engage their, their, their clients, their, their, yeah. their customers, so, so that they feel comfortable about coming back and patronizing their businesses. And we should say a state senator is going to join us in a moment, hopefully with more insight on what the governor's reopening plan will be. But finally, as we wrap up, some employees now, even those maybe who are unemployed right now, what should they be thinking about and doing right now? Well, you know, first of all, if you're, if you're unemployed, I think you need to kind of, you know, dust off that resume, update it. Um, obviously, you know, a lot of unemployed people have, have a lot of time on their hands right now. So maybe try and learn a, a new skill, whether it be technology or anything like that. Um, but, but, but really have a plan in place to sort of re-engage, um, you know, the market uh, when, when the economy actually reopens. But I would also encourage the people that are currently employed uh, to be really proactive in engaging their, their business owners and their, and their bosses and really try to try to you know add value in areas that maybe they otherwise wouldn't um, because you know, there's a lot of uncertainty out there and I think a lot of businesses are going to be struggling even after we reopen um, and so unfortunately you know if you're not adding that value you may be getting laid off so all right Marshall Clay from the Welch Group I appreciate your time this morning thank you sir all right good morning all right more good day in just a moment stick around